Hi everyone, welcome back. And so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a haul. I bought two new bags and I just want to share with you guys because I'm super excited for these styles. And I know that I have been really like not making a lot of videos recently because work has been super duper busy with the holiday season. So the peak um, chaos has subsided and now I'm trying to go back to like the regular cadence of making videos so my apologies for that um so I thought today would be kind of like a super fun video just to get back in the groove of things with a haul so if you're interested in today's video over these two cute bags um please do stay tuned and just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you're seeing these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag-related content. So the first bag is a silhouette that I really like from Coach, and that is the Tabby Collection. And they recently launched a newer style, and it is this little bag right here. I don't know if the camera is actually working right. It is. Okay, cool. So it is this bag right here. This is the Coach Tabby Crossbody Bag. I'm not mistaken. It's not actually, no, take that back. It's the Coach Tabby Chain Clutch. Um, and this is the newer rendition of the silhouette. So this is basically a shrunken down version of the Tabby bag. Um, and it's more so along the lines of like a mini bag and not so much as a wallet on chain style. Because as you can see here with the side profile of the bag, it does have a lot more depth in comparison to like the wallet on chains. And I do really like that a lot. So it is basically a mini shrunken down Tabby, like I said earlier. It has a back pocket here, no feet, but has like the raised edges. And then the shoulder strap is a combination of chain and leather. And the great thing too is that the leather portion of this bag actually has a adjustment here on the side. So it is great that you're able to make this bag longer or shorter to your desired length. And then it still has a little bit of that more like elegant dressy detail with the chain portion on the straps here. The inside of this bag is also going to be different as well in comparison to like a wallet on chain style because it does just have one large compartment. So again, just like any tabby bag, it has a magnetic closure. And here is the inside. Um, so it is just one open spacious compartment, which I think is awesome. And then it has a zip pocket here on the back and a little slip pocket in the front. But what's awesome is that you still have your credit card slots on the opposite side. So if you didn't want to carry a card case for there just to maximize on space, you definitely just put your cards on here. And the cool thing too is that when you open the bag, the card cases, or not the card cases, the card slots are facing you. So it's really easy just to like pick your cards out when you're carrying this bag crossbody, which I really like. And then it is also lined in microfiber as well for the body of the bag. But I think that is a really cool new setup for this particular style is that it takes the combination of a wad on chain and just like a standard tabby bag and puts like the best of like the two um, bags together. So it's awesome. The next bag is a really exciting bag and it's been a silhouette I've been kind of deliberating for a little bit. Um, and they finally launched it in a smaller size and in a really fun color. So I decided to go for it and it is this stunning bag right here. This is the Rebel 24 in the color sport blue, I believe, or is this sport blue? I think it is sport blue. Hold on. After consulting the price tag, it is the color Sport Blue and it does feature silver hardware as well. And I just think this color is absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. And I really don't think the camera is doing this bag justice. The ring light is definitely washing this color out and just putting a lot of like light on here. And I don't know, this bag is just absolutely stunning in natural sunlight. And even with like my store lighting, it's like kind of like this beige yellow. Um, even then it looks really good as well. And I just love the silver hardware with this blue. It just feels really crisp, really modern. And as you can see that zipper detailing here and the little padlock too, is just absolutely adorable. And again, the silver with the blue looks too good. Some of the details on the Rebel Satchel 24 is that it does feature the Rogue handles as well which I think is a really nice design detail that they've carried through to like the collection just because I feel like Rogue, Ruby, and Rebel all have the same vibe. So I love that they added the, the Rogue-like handles on this particular silhouette. Um, the bag does feature four feet on the bottom and the silver hardware and they will be attached on these leather tabs. 
just has genuine glow tan leather stamped in the silver foil in the middle there. And it does even feature like the coach detailing of the leather binding so it does wrap around the bottom of the bag, which I think is a cute little detail. And the bag itself does have a little hang tag in like the 1941 style of the horse and carriage in silver and then the little key bell. And the key bell is for the little lock you get on the side here. Um, so you are able to lock up the bag. And you'll notice too that the zipper tabs are going to be two different sizes. So the smaller tab when you do like close your bag, um, you'll put the zipper tab that is the smallest on the inside and then the big one on the outside and you'll be able to lock your bag up that way. So I think that is a really cool detail that they did for this particular style. The inside of the bag is going to be one open spacious compartment lined in the same matching blue microfiber and it does have like gussets here on the side so it helps your items not fall out when you have it fully open which is nice and does feature a little slip pocket um it does have a little press stud so you are able to close that pocket if you'd like and your story patch is attached onto that pocket um but other than that a very simple layout which i really like because i don't really use pockets um but here's that for you I feel like this bag was definitely a surprise purchase just because I don't really do the color blue very often. Um, I would say that my top three like handbag choices when it comes to color has to be pink, green, or yellow. I feel like those are definitely the colors I go for when it comes to purses. Um, so this blue color was kind of like a surprise to me. Um, and I really love this particular shade of blue. It's a really nice, strong cobalt um, color and has like the silver hardware too. So it's like really modern and refreshing in my opinion. Um, and I just love the dome bag silhouette too. I think it's like super chic, really elegant, and really cool at the same time. And again, just like the tabby chain clutch, I will be doing a review of this bag of first impressions and just like what my thoughts on it are in a separate video. Um, so I will be moving into this bag tomorrow, um, actually later on today, um, and I will be using it as soon as possible. So it is so darn cute. Um, and again, very happy that this little bag is in my collection. Um, so yeah. And that does it for today's video over these two items. Um, if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any more questions about these two bags, definitely leave a comment down below. Or if you have any other questions about coach stuff, um, just DM me on Instagram and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible that way. Um, but if you did like today's video, um, I'm looping now. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!